My, my, my. What's this one, Shark? Watch. You thought I wouldn't notice? Especially when you come back to one of my favorite games from you guys? And the fact that you guys are one of my favorite developers? What, you thought I wouldn't notice? Huh? Well, I noticed. Even though it took me this long just to make a video on it. <laughs> Like, I saw it way back then, but I was so busy with other things that I completely just put it off to a side for a little while. But yeah, I noticed. I definitely noticed. And that's what we're going to be playing today. And welcome back. All of you guys who have been with me through this series. We're going to be playing Twist of Destiny. So some of you guys are, well, a lot of you guys are going to be new to this because a lot of you guys weren't like following me around that time I really enjoyed this whole series and the fact that there's going back to working on the game again is fantastic for me oh they just hit version um, 1. Point, oh, are we fully starting over yeah I think we might be fully starting over yeah we are unfortunately To be honest, I kind of figured, considering I don't think Steam's going to save my stuff, but we've already been through all this stuff. Oh, Ashley. Well, hello again, Ashley. They said they have done some, like, a little bit of reworks, too. Um... I've been on hundreds of quests. I don't know if I want to like go through all the dialogue if it's all the same. I'm definitely going to have to catch up with where I last left off, which is a lot of shit I have to go back and do if I'm going to start up the series again. Like, a lot. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> It's unfortunate that my stuff restarted though, because I like everything I've chose up to this point. And now I gotta go back and farm a lot of shit too. Ah, uh, that sounds like fun. I mean, I don't know why we're getting an affection with Ashley if we're just gonna take him out of the game, you know? <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have are interested in the series, I do have a playlist for it. Uh, oh, it's... What was your name? Wiki-san. That's what it was. Okay, my light is over here trying to bug out. Alright. So, is there any new stages? Or does everything still look the same? Yeah, everything pretty much looks the same. I don't think as much has changed. Except for a new dream over here. Randomize enemies and bosses. Expert only. Okay. So that's something that's new that we didn't see in the last one. So let's see if the combat has changed any. Have they added in like new skills yet? Or have they taken out the other ones just for a while? Oh yeah, I have to go back to the other side of the screen. Hold on. Hold on. Just because those were still there. What, you said I can just edit magic over there? You know, that, that seems like a lot of trouble. <laughs> you guys are just going to watch it go over to the other side. I'm professional here. Okay, so we had skills. Yeah, it seems like he still has the standard skills that he always used. He's used quick strike. And now it's on cooldown. I just got ketchup.
Uh, do we have our skills? Okay, it's on cooldown for one, so I'm just gonna hit him. Oh, we crit. It's okay, I should just hit him, dude. Ah, this game brings back memories. Brings back so many memories. I'm so happy they're working on this again. Thank for all my loot. Just because this was like a totally different take from the other games I played from them. Because mostly they're working on like clicking games. And I really enjoyed the uh, RPG style that they were into. Wait, is that level 2? Yeah, not level 2. I can put on this shirt though. Wherever the shirt slot is. There it is. And we killed some tomatoes. Uh, coming back to you. Okay, yeah, it doesn't like he has any different skills anymore. So the other three skills that were down here are gone. It doesn't look like you can level up your skills either. So the only reason I'm not really reading all this is just because I already read it. <laughs> um... 200. I mean, you're going to die anyway. <laughs> what a ripoff. <laughs> That's a choice I never made, so I'm just making all the wrong choices at this point. Because <laughs> I kind of want to see the outcome of the other ones. Four bottles of ketchup? Um, I think I have those. Don't I? Okay, no, I'm missing one. Is that Chop Norris? Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go over his uh, railroad junction. They also added new characters as well. Or new NPCs, I believe. From what we just saw from uh, Patch Notes. So that's going to be interesting. Once, whenever we find those. I miss my old gear. So many things I farmed for. But then again, I, I haven't played this game in a while and my PC has been through a lot. To the point where I've had to uninstall things, reinstall windows, so yeah. If it was, if the save file was, like, stuck to my PC and not, like, a cloud system, then, yeah, obviously I was going to lose everything. But that's fine. Ooh, nails and more ketchup. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that, dude. I still wanted to know what was up with the whole skin thing here. So these are... Regular tomatoes. Okay, so recruit tomatoes. One feather. Scarred f Huh. Nothing in my inbox. Wait, where's where's Granny at? Okay, no, we don't care about Ashley right now. Where's Granny? Granny? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I work fast like that. No worries. So I'm pretty much got a grasp on the game. I know what we should do and what we shouldn't do. Most of the time. Um, let's be a little bit social. Because I'm pretty sure this unlocks like other quests, right? Or other little things. Mm. 
I miss you, Ashley. You will be missed. So if you guys don't know, these guys have like an affection bar. This is how much affection I have with Ashley, especially uh, since I asked for 200 pesos, which he wouldn't give me. Only if you pay me. I mean, pay me. <laughs> We're going all the wrong choices with Ashley, so it's, <laughs> so it's all good. And yeah, that's exactly where we just went. Wait, do you have another quest or something? Alright, let's go. Oh, there's bosses over here. Wait, which one were these? I'm probably thinking of like a different area. Nah, I think that's the right area. I think those are with the pillars and everything. Alright, battle scarred. Taste my blade. Oh, well, you didn't taste much of it. Alright, come on. Multi attack. Okay, we didn't get it. He, he lived by one. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the whole pipe thing. God darn it. I didn't equip it. Is there a chance of getting me multi strike? Out oh, or crit? That works too. Kill him. Oh, now you want to give me the multi strike. I'm trying to remember, how did I get the... Um... The mage chick? And that's pretty much how armor works in this game. So you gotta choose one of whichever build you're going for. Now I'm about to lay down the pipe on some... I mean, what? <laughs> I don't know if you people will know what that means. Yes, I did, big boy. <laughs> yeah, can't you collect my pesos? better give me all my freaking pesos. Okay, yeah, no more requests for me. So somebody else here has a quest for me now. Ah, there she is. I think it was increasing affection with her that we get her. Or it was a different quest that I get later on. Like, don't I have ketchup? Yeah, I have like five bottles. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> So if you guys want to know the premise of why we're fighting tomatoes, it's just because they're evil. And the whole world is run over by tomatoes. Or this village is run by tomatoes. Or ruined by tomatoes. Wait, that was... That was quick. I don't feel like we got in her like that quick before. I don't feel like we have. Alright, so now we got... Okay, and my light is bugging the hell out. I don't know what's up with it today. Oh, you're gonna ignore me? 
Yeah, watch your tone with me, bro. Wait, don't I have this? Yeah, I have this. <laughs> Pretty much everything you guys are asking for, we have. Damn it, Grandma, move. Grandma! Jesus! Always in the way. <laughs> okay, then. So now Wiki-san wants something. I'm sorry, guys. I got a fifth light. It is... It is like pitching a fit for some reason. And it's only the one on my right for some reason. The one on the left is doing just fine. It's just this one that's flipping out. That's the real question. Hey, just asking important questions here. It still takes a while for their quest to disappear, so it always makes me think they have something else. Sure, why not? I actually like Chop Norris. Wait, hold on. Okay, so I still can't see my quest in here. So I have to go directly back here just to look at my quest before I go in. So it won't be going to the Shrine of Bones. I gotta steal his axe back from um, Blueberry Garden. So we're gonna go here and fight a boss. Why? Because, you know, I like dying. <laughs> so yeah, in this game, enemies can come on from like different type of... Uh, from, from like every side let's just say that so your characters will be back to back um if you have a tank right here your mage could be exposed over here and your mage is going to be getting hit so it's pretty much about getting luck <laughs> and hoping that any powerful enemies are not on this side so you probably want to finish off the more troublesome enemies, especially on like one of your squishier units versus like your tanker units on one side. So now that I've kind of helped my mage out from getting too much damage, I'm going to focus on this side. So there's four waves that we have to go through. Ah, uh, here's the sheep. There is a boss in this area also, so that's the thing. The sorcerer is, is really good for clearing off one side. Just like that. So now we can run if we want to. But this guy does drop, like, weapons. I can also take items here to get my SP back. This is probably going to be bad because the boss pops up from this side. I'm pretty sure they always pop up from this side. Alright, don't approve of that.
There we go. And once you level up, your your, your character's full HP goes back up, along with mana. And there go Chief Leaf. We meet again, sir. Ah, I was hoping you would multi. So that's one of the reasons why I use my SP. Carrying SP pots are fantastic for dealing with this boss. There we go. Obviously want to get the extra damage out of here. Oh, yeah. Kill him. Alright, just you and... Oh, god. Yep, that's a lot of damage. Really? There we go. <laughs> Like I said, we get a lot of loot from this. You do have to sort through your loot. It it becomes troublesome later on. Of how much stuff you got to keep up with. We can sell the claws because we are nowhere near the... Um, we're nowhere near White Tiger. I think he's going to be in the Utter City. All right, let's go turn in our quest over here. Oh, wiki son, come back. I think I'm gonna try and catch up where I last left off on the next video. Because there'll be no point of like restarting the whole series, right? Right? Now, it really depends on what you guys want. You guys want me to start from where I last left off and do all the missions and catch up? Or do you guys want me to fully play through the game again? Because I don't mind either way. If you guys want me to fully play through again, I will more than happy happily do that. Um, Hold on. Alright. Considering this is SP, I'm going to put that on you since it has SP on it. You can't hold any of that, so. So this is also self-organized, so yeah, like I was saying, you gotta, it gets pretty annoying after a while because you gotta pretty much organize everything yourself. So inventory management is key here. Okay, move over here, move here. Oh, this is in a way now. Gonna put weapons down here. Wait, is this just a normal pipe? Yeah, I think it is. And we're gonna put food right here. Put material up there. There we go. That's a lot better for me. Alright, let's do our last quest for Chop Norris. My guy, he's a mastermind. He has an eye patch. Let's take him out. Or, nah, we can take you out. There are always is going to be like unique enemies for this game, for sure. It's because there, there's a lot of annoying bosses too that have really annoying good effects and damage. So yeah, there is a grinding phase to where you're going to have to, where you got to have farm weapons. And level up your characters for sure. Which is actually not as bad as other games for sure. As you can see I'm leveling up pretty fast here. As long as I'm fighting on like pretty much standard levels. Whatever level our character is, a few runs will probably get us to the level of the area. Alright, here's where we can start using skills since this is the last wave. We'll finish you off with Onslaught. 
apparently we can use Onslaught now. Which is good to see. <laughs> And yeah, you gotta collect all your loot here. I'm pretty sure if you don't collect the loot here, you'll definitely miss out on it. Go down here. So yeah, potions are way better than carrying around food, depending on what they are. You know what? Another thing they could do is like um, cooking. We can like mix food together and create like a different potions with different effects or different healing. That's one thing you guys can do, one shark. Uh, dodging, dodging, dodging. Well, considering nobody else can wear any of the other stuff, I guess both of you guys can wear these. We'll get this to you whenever you get there. So yeah, Chop Norris, where are you? Oh, we didn't get your axe, did we? We didn't get your axe from that drop. I forgot, there is a drop rate for like items. It's really annoying. Because we actually have to get like the axe drop. It's basically like MMOs where you have to like you have a chance of getting the quest item. I totally forgot about that. Alright, we didn't get it. I forgot, this guy likes to play with his mushroom, doesn't he? Okay, we got the soul next. There we go. You guys can't see it because I'm covering it. I thought about going back to like old box cams. Because the only place I can put uh... Okay, because the only place I can put like... Green screen cam is like in the corners at the bottom. And now I can turn people into sheeps. Turning people into sheeps, like, is basically a stun in this game, and it's fantastic to have. I have so many bats. Just a whole bat collection over here. <laughs> don't do drugs. Yeah, kids, don't do drugs. This game is obviously, like, not for kids. <laughs> I mean, you guys know that if you've watched my other playthrough of the dialogue of the characters. It may have the look of one, but it's not. I chose left hand right last time, right? So let's go with left hand again. Yeah, left hand. I forgot what you get for right hand, but you know, we chose left hand, okay? So now we got his old axe. Which is actually pretty decent compared to our weapons. So I think this is the last quest for this area, right? Oh no, we have to go back and kill um, Chief again. That's what it was. But we're going to stop it right here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know again if you guys want me to complete, well, stop or get back where I stopped or play through it again. Whichever you guys want, I will do. So until then, peace out.